Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this portable solar panel from Blitzwolf. Let me open it up and show you. So there you go, you can see it unfolds into three panels. And the idea of this is that there's two USB ports. Let me show you. So hopefully you can see the USB ports there. Sorry about the barking in the background, by the way, I can't control that. But the idea is that you put this out in the sun, connect your cell phone or your power bank or anything else that charges via USB, and that's it, it's solar powered. Now the thing is on the front of this, it says 20 watts. In the instruction manual, it says 15 watts. And in my testing, it's actually a maximum of nine watts. So if you are planning to buy this, do your research, check pricing, because the maximum I've been able to pull out of this is nine watts. Now the thing is, that's not unusual for these portable solar panels. I have another one here, which is from Anchor. And I made a similar video in the past where I showed that what you can actually pull out of these solar panels is not exactly what they claim because there are some losses and everything like that. So yes, the maximum you can get out of this is around nine watts, which is pretty much good enough for two cell phones to charge at the same time. Ideally, it'd be 10 watts, but this is nine watts. Now we're gonna make this quick because I'm literally melting in the sun. So let me point the camera down and we'll do some testing with this. So you can see the three solar panels here and then we've got the two USB ports here. Now you could just connect your cell phone or your tablet to this and start charging, but let's say you wanna use the power later. You can connect something like this USB power bank, plug that in and there you go, it's now charging. Now you won't be able to see the charge light because it's so bright out here, but that power bank is now charging. But let's say instead of a power bank or a cell phone, we wanna charge our USB fan. Well, we can also do that. Sorry, I'm not sure how much this is in shot. It's kind of a weird angle. Uh, let's plug this in. And again, I don't know if you'll be able to see the charge light on the camera, but it's charging. And aside from that, instead of charging, you could just run the fan directly from the USB panel. So you can see right here, I've taken out the battery, but if we turn it on, you can see it starts up no problem. Even on the highest setting. Oh wow, that feels great, it's so hot out here. So that's the basic idea behind these panels. I have shown them before. And this one is okay, but you just have to be aware that it's actually maximum output of around nine watts instead of 20 watts or 15 watts. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.